Your golden ticket is within your grasp. In fact, you may already have it. Now, this piece came about because of a spam email that I received claiming that excellent communication is the golden ticket. Uh, it went on to say, and all you have to do to get it, you guessed it, is give them some of your gold. <laughs> I mentally corrected the concept. It's not excellent communication, it's transferable communication. And my thoughts about a golden ticket went on to become this. First of all, who's Ronald Dahl? You don't know. He wrote Charlie and the Chocolate Factory in 1964. You may have seen Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, the original starring Gene Wilder, or Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the darker version, not dark chocolate, with Johnny Depp. The book and movies focus around a slightly nutty entrepreneur, a chocolate factory, tiny workers, and a contest to find one of the five golden tickets inside Wonka's chocolate bars. Almost like a lottery. If you got the golden ticket, the reward was an all-day tour of the secret candy factory by Willy Wonka himself. Charlie Bucket, the hero and ideal child, was one of the five winners. The other four were children. Well, they weren't children. They were spoiled brats. And as they went on to the factory tour, they revealed their greed or misbehaved in such a way that they were punished and or banished. Charlie Bucket was the winner of the tour and was rewarded with the entire factory and empire. Not bad for a day's work. But there's much more to this children's story. There are lessons to be learned both in sales and in life. Charlie Bucket was an impoverished kid with a vision and a belief. You may call it a dream, but his vision and belief were so strong that he made them a reality. He was certain that he would find that golden ticket in spite of his doubting family. And he did. Looking for your golden ticket? Eh? Hoping for it? Have doubters? What's your vision of it? How strong is your belief for it? Maybe you already have a golden ticket. Maybe more than one. But note well, a golden ticket is not a winning lottery ticket. It doesn't have to be money. But it may lead you to money by turning your gold into wealth. Here are several areas to evaluate as you begin the search for your golden ticket. There may be several golden tickets you already possess, but you haven't even realized their value. Number one is communication that's transferable. Who is acting on your words? Number two, customers that are loyal and give you repeat business without a bid or a quote. How many of your customers fit into that category? Number three, customers who give you referrals without you asking for them. How many referrals did you earn last month? As many as you wanted? What are you doing about it? Number four, prospective customers who call and want to buy. How many unsolicited referrals did you get last month? Oh, not enough. Number five, followers who retweet you. Do you understand the power of Twitter is in the retweet? Number six, customers who post positive things on your business Facebook page. Do you even have a business Facebook page? Number seven, people who watch your videos on YouTube. How many testimonial videos are on your YouTube channel? Answer, not enough. Number eight, people who ask to connect with you on LinkedIn. Do you have more than 500 connections that you value message weekly? Number nine, people who subscribe to your email magazine. If you've been thinking of starting your own e-zine, but you're not sure where, how, or what to do, go to aceofsales.com. Mystery resolved. Number 10, people who subscribe to your blog. No blog either. Yikes. Blogspot.com and wordpress.com are both no cost except for your labor and come with complete instructions. Launch. Number 11, your reputation in your business and your community. This is more profound, maybe most profound. What are you known for? What are you known as? What is your image? They combine to equal your reputation. Number 12, your personal assets, not your material things. Golden tickets are found among your intellect, your health, your personal development, your drive, your dedication, your creativity, and other priceless intangibles. 
Number 13, your inner circle of friends and connections, people who encourage you and lift your spirits, people who help you without expectation. Number 14, your yes attitude. This is the foundation for finding and taking advantage of your ticket once you have it. Your yes attitude is not an option, it's gold. Number 15, the random acts of kindness that you perform. Doing things that make others feel good, maybe even feel great, they make you feel great. They're the best one-a-day vitamins in the universe. And number 15.5, my personal strength, your family, my family. Family strength compounds personal strength. Family is both gold and golden. It's love at its unconditional best. As an aid to your self-discovery, it may be time to read or reread the Russell Conwell lecture, Acres of Diamonds. It gives you an interesting perspective to those in search of their diamonds, their gold, or their golden ticket, or yours. Acres of Diamonds has been in the public domain for years. It's easy to find a copy on the internet. The best version I've found, uh, which contains historical background and, and interesting facts on Conwell's life, is on igniteyouressence.com. Acres of Diamonds, PDF. I hope you find your golden ticket. It may be closer than you think. In fact, you may already possess it, or it may be in your own backyard, and you're just overlooking it by going someplace else.